This morning, the Pasco County Sheriff's Office is monitoring more than one location for rising water. Rainfall from Hurricane Milton is causing flooding concerns along Cypress Creek and the Anquote River in the Elfers area. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott is live from Zephyr Hills where neighbors have also seen flooding. And Larissa, how are things looking out there this morning? Well, Heather and Lauren, some uh, roads here to nearby subdivisions are closed this morning because of those flooding concerns and officials warning people if you live in any low lying areas prone to flooding to evacuate to safety. Rising water has been threatening houses in Wesley Chapel. Honestly, I've never seen anything like it before, so um, it's definitely crazy. I feel so sad for the people that, you know, that they're being displaced and it's it's really sad to see. In the Enclave subdivision, rescue crews from the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, the FWC and the State Guard showed up to help people escape over the weekend. Neighbors grabbed their pets and the belongings that they could when they left their homes as crews brought in airboats and high water vehicles. It's pretty much up to the top of my mailbox. Um, it's halfway up my driveway. It hasn't reached my house yet, but uh, what I'm hearing, it might get there. It might get to the point where it's up until the house. So This flooding caused by the Cypress Creek after Hurricane Milton dumped record-setting rain on the area. Over in Zephyr Hills, parts of the Silver Oaks community is underwater. Neighbors there have had to use paddle boats to reach their front doors. The water reaching thigh level in some homes, rushing in so fast people tell us they couldn't move their valuables quick enough and that this loss will be hard to come back from. Today's price is 100 grand. This, this is absolutely high and dry. Uh, we don't have flood insurance over here because we never expected that. All of a sudden it started to creep along the edges. And officials say they're responding to calls for rescues as they get them. On Saturday alone, they had 150 rescues. I'm live in Pasco County this morning. Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.